Brett Allen here with The Brett Allen Show, chatting with Andrew and Luke about the most current and upcoming season of Ghost Rider on Apple TV+. Plus. Thank you both so much for your time today. I'm excited to chat with both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Andrew, we'll start with you. I think the fans are excited and ready for another season. This is such a great show, plus the fact it's very kid-friendly, so to speak, so you don't have to worry about uh, monitoring or muting things. Um, <laughs> what can uh, parents and kids alike expect uh, from this new season with what you can share, obviously. Sure. Uh, no spoilers, clearly. So, <laughs> Well, th this season they can expect, uh, first of all, an all-new cast um, and a, a real exciting mystery that is um, about a, a missing Egyptian artifact. So there's a lot of running around the university trying to find it. Um, and then the other thing that, without giving too much away, um, this season we tackle some more serious social issues, um, okay, like racial profiling, um, and that's something that we didn't do last season. So that'll be different. Yeah, well, I'm very excited about this. Uh, Luke, on to you. It does have a little bit of a national treasure kind of vibe, a little bit <laughs> this For season, sure. uh, from what we've seen. When you are creating stories like this, uh, Luke. Do you have external influences from other projects that you've seen, uh, that you've maybe been a part of, that sort of inform uh, your creativity when you're putting such a great show like this together? Uh, that's a great question. Um, well, at this point, we were trying to uh, reinvent this new season in a way that still sustained the style we had established in the first two seasons. So some of that was already a little intact, uh, but even those were drawn from external influences. Uh, the BBC Sherlock uh, miniseries was one that we had looked at a lot uh, for that first, uh, that first season. Um, basically, uh, adult mysteries uh, that we tried to co-opt that cinematic look and apply it to, uh, to what we needed. Uh, and that's, that's what we tried to keep going um, the best we could this new season. And with everything that Andrew accomplished in the writer's room, we had these cool, creepy university settings, which gives you long, uh, long hallways, uh, dark libraries, things like that, which is very atmospheric and very fun to shoot in. But, but you're right, National Treasure, Indiana Jones. Those, That's true. Those kinds of movies were influenced us. I, I had a feeling, I mean, I've been doing this for just a brief <laughs> minute, and when yeah. I watch these shows, right. I'm like, okay, I get it. Not, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. obviously, we always stand on the shoulders of those yeah. before right. us. Obviously, you have your own individual creativity between the two of you, but I mean, it's fun for us adults in our late 40s to watch these things and go, Good. I get it. It makes perfect sense. Well, thank you both, Andrew and Luke, for your time. Thank I'm very you. excited about this. From what I've seen, I have just had one heck of a ride, and I cannot wait for our fans wow. thank you. Uh, to uh, catch it and enjoy it like the rest of us do that get to do press days like this. So lucky us. Thank you both so much for thank your time. You so it's been much. a pleasure and honor chatting.